Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to reset the top down bottom up system. If you ever have to do that, there is easy way, don't worry about it. So what you have to do is untighten the screws of the clutches and take this segment out. The other clutch with the drive rod as well. Your drums must be fixed to the head rail, so you have to loosen them up. Use 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench to reach down to the set screw. For this drum, you will have cords here, of course. Don't forget to take out your stopper. It is really important that you reset this piece in order for the track to work properly. Once the chain has been operated up and down, these sliders are, have moved and you need to bring them back into the zero position. How do you do that? Either take one of these square rods and start twisting, or if you happen to have spare piece of square rod, just uh, bend them like that, and now you have a crank rod. So I have to bring both sliders at the very beginning. Make sure that they are locked. I'm gonna test the other one. Okay. Does not move. Cool. they're all together and then put everything back in so when you have your head rail at front of you imagine that the shade you're facing the shade so the hook strip facing me I'll flip it like that and now the stopper it is really critical that the sliders are on your right side the stopper has a profile that's rounded on the bottom, so it's going to fit into the head rail, just like that. Now, you need to lock your spools. You need to hang on to these little guys here. Don't throw orange parts, just keep them around, remaining them. It's easier if you look at the back for these big holes here and just move it. Okay, click. Okay, now you take the part with the clutch and the offset gear and like with every other vacuum system you have to align all the parts it is very easy because you have screws marking the starting point so this screw has to align with this screw with this screw here if everything is aligned then you just thread that to the further there are two parallel rods going on so this is your um, further one not the one that's close to you okay it goes through the first drum now my other drum is, and, and the stopper, of course, and now my second drum is far away from that and it's hard to hit the square opening. So here's my tip, slide the drum as close as possible because of course there is physics and the driver rod is uh, hanging down by its weight. But if you come closer, you know, you can get straight through it. My tip for that is if you have to move the, the drums while doing that, don't pull them by the lock, pull them by the cords, because as soon as you touch the lock, it comes off quite easily and you want to keep them locked. All right, so now the dry rod is all the way through, screw that up, do the other side and you have reset your headrail. 